It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. This should be a good one to watch. And it's all up next. This is a city that's hosted more Super Bowls than almost anybody else sent up. in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right mm -hmm. over for big yardage, and maybe six points too. Ball is teed up. Chase McLaughlin to do the honors. From Tampa. He's going to feel this at the two. He's got a lane up past the 30. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. So the commander's offense headed out for their opening drive. And leading them out is the reigning Heisman Trophy winner, the number two pick in the NFL draft out of LSU, Jaden Daniels. Well, here he comes. Here comes the Heisman Trophy winner from a season ago, and what a show he put on, man. He was a stat stuffer. Over 1,100 yards rushing, but a lot like Lamar Jackson did back in the day in college. Oh, by the way, 40 touchdowns passing, too. You know why this Washington organization took him so high in this draft. They want him to be Lamar Jackson. They want him to be dynamic. And he's going to get his career up and running. Get him down after he gets into the 48. 16 yards on the play. And the Commanders will have a first. Hey, these are the type of games he's counted on to get when they're available. Unfortunately, we had tremendous vision to see the scene and get through it before that window could close. Daniels back to throw. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. They get there to take him down. happen in football it is a part of the game even for the very best nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be coming right back your way from the gun on third down that one doesn't find its man incomplete will not find receiver that time and fourth and four coming up now that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. And he'll bring in this fair catch at the 13. So here now are the Buccaneers on offense to begin their first drive. They're led out by the seventh-year pro, comeback player of the year contender last season in Baker Mayfield. I'll raise my hand is one that was reminded once again why Baker Mayfield was the number one pick years ago to Cleveland. He expressed it last year from beginning to end in Tampa. Resurrected his career. Led these Buccaneers to a division title and a playoff win over the Eagles. And by the way, earned a new contract to stay down there in Tampa Bay as a starter. He's always had the moxie. He's always had the fight. Last year, he had the consistency and the attention to detail to take his game to another level. And he has enough room to gain about four. Second and six coming up here.
from the 17. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. First and 10 from the 41. Baker now. That's brought in by right. And he'll get it up to the 44. It may not look like much on the stat sheet, but this is kind of good on good. An offense gets a completion, not going backwards, and the defense, well, they rallied, they pursued, and kept that screen to a minimal gain. Second down now, seven to go. Mayfield will look to throw. Send a tight end in motion. The handoff on third and short. And that short game is enough for him to set it down. That is some old school brutality. An offense close to a first down, a defense that knows there's a run headed right its way. In a battle of wills, the offense gets it done. So far, so good to begin this one as they've got a new set of downs beyond midfield. This is White. And they're going to bring him down after a good game to the 40. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Here's Baker. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. that won't take that type of efficiency on every snap. Listen, it was good execution, a quality gain, and it moved the sticks. Great opening drive continues. First and 10 at the 33. Here's White again. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Hey, these DNs love to get after the quarterback, but the most well-rounded of them are the guys who can anchor your run defense, too. Mission accomplished. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Here's Mayfield. Finds his man. It's gone in. And he pushes this down to the 22-yard line. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Again, right side to White. And gets a few on the punch forward. Second down now, seven to go. From 
the 19. Completes this one to Otten. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. down one yard to go here's Baker to throw is Chase McLaughlin for the point after. and he's ready to send this fly. His return starts at the five. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. Here comes the Washington offense out to the field, ready for their second drive. Now their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. He lost it, deep left. He's got it inside the 25. And he will score it's a Washington touchdown. The Commanders will reach pay dirt for the first time this game.
On is Katie York for the PAT. That one splits the uprights. And we're all knotted up. Turn coming from the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Tampa Bay sending its offense out. Their second drive coming up. And after watching their passing attack take them the length of the field last drive, Brock, I expect we're probably going to see a heavy dose of the aerial attack again here. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Drive the right side with White. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. An offensive line and that O-line coach got to look at those pictures and figure something out. Because you cannot let a defensive tackle defeat your block at the point of attack. Or you're going to get a negative run time after time. Offense to the line for second down. Throwing Baker. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. Here they come. This is third and five. To throw is Mayfield. Slated downs to approach here from the 40. To throw, Mayfield. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Still sticking with the passing game. On target to Godwin. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. And for the Commanders, a fifth defensive back out there. They're going nickel on third down. They motion a receiver left. Throw on third down. Hauled in by Godwin. That's how you draw it up defensively. That's exactly what you want the coverage to do. Force that quarterback to throw it short and get off the field. Bucks ready to send it away on fourth as Jake Camarda runs on to punt it. to regain possession. They really had the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. They're out and set. First and ten. 
Daniels back to throw. He'll get this one to Brown. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. That play goes for 19, and a new set of downs. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Scoreboard showing sevens on each side. More from Raymond James Stadium coming up after the break. Time now for the second quarter. Commanders in possession. They've got a first to begin the frame. And they're going to give it to him inside. And bring him down after a pretty short game. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. But he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. New set of downs is not off to a real good start here, Capes. And I know every yard counts in this league. But that lone yard, it's not going to really change what they're thinking about doing here in second down. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Washington first. York now for the extra point. That 
one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Turn coming from the six. And this drive will start inside the 25. Now the Buccaneers set to take the field. They've got a chance to tie this up here as they trail 14-7. The drive will start out with a first and ten. Right, trying this straight ahead. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. They send one of the tight ends in motion right. That's going to be caught by Evans. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel it in. Call it seven yards on the play, and that's enough for the first down. They're set up at the 35 now. Here's Baker. Rifles it, and it's caught. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. see from your linebacker one of the leaders of this group what a great read quick reaction to the run fought through traffic and hit him for a loss everyone's prepped it's second down now here's baker to throw Throwing now from the gun. Ooh, fired a dart there, but it's not going to be brought in. Looking for his wide receiver there. So that brings up second down. Baker now.
Third and a lone yard coming up. Mayfield will look to throw. He's got it on the run. start a good debate sometime, Kate. Go in an NFL locker room and ask which position is the best athlete. <laughs> the big guys, the left tackles will tell you it's them. The corners will tell you it's them. But I'll tell you what, these tight ends of today, the way they can run, they can tackle. And he gets in and touch the Buccaneers can tie it up with a second after coming into the lead. It's a Rashad White touchdown. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one splits the upright. We're all tied up. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. That's going to be taken in at the 8. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Commanders, their running back Austin Eckler, headed back to the field. And after some momentum was wrestled away by that last touchdown drive, Brock, the pressure is on them to respond here. to throw. Here's Daniels. Connect right side. It's incomplete. In these third and short situations, you work them all the time. Snap after snap. Rep after rep. You're expecting man to make coverage in their down and distance, and you're expecting to execute. A time on third and short, you can't get the job done. So they bring Trust Way back out there for another punt. And that punt hits and kicks out of bounds. And he sure has put on that chef's hat to dice up their defense early in this one. Like the appetizer that he's prepared to what could be a great overall performance. You've got first down from the 31. Mayfield to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. We're at 
the two-minute warning now from Raymond James. The Buccaneers pushing for a score before the break. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Mayfield set to pass. Finds his man. It's got him. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Buccaneers hustling to the line. They're in the hurry up. Throwing Baker. big old dude like him in the slot it's an automatic mismatch advantage you train a little bit of speed sure but you sure do get a lot of size and anytime he's in the slot you gotta assume the ball's going his way So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. They'll throw it again. On target to Godwin. And he'll go down here at the 16. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 16. Called in by Gagne. They get this down to the second yard line. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Still sticking with the passing game. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. And he's ready to send this fly. Return coming from the six. And this fly will start inside the 25. The Commanders back out on offense. They were running back, headed out once again. Not a whole lot of time left for him to put something together here before the break.
first down, ball at the 36. Daniels now. No complaint to Eckler. Makes the tackle, he grabs it in. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. Hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. He'll throw it yet again. Please get there and bring him down. Final time now taken by the commanders. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lot. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. Okay, Kate, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bucks were treated to a fine first half by their quarterback, that's Baker Mayfield. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, thank you, Coach, and we are back and about set to begin the second half. severe this may be. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's Baker. second and short. Now Mayfield. No hesitation and that one's caught. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. We 
the slated downs to approach here from the 40. Here's Mayfield. He goes back to him yet again. Complete. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy in midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. It's White on the give. to have kept that big play but the officials and penalties say no and it's got to come back all right here we go second down here's baker to throw rifles it and it's caught and he'll pick up enough to move the chains Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Simple dive up the middle. And he can only manage one yard. The defenders were at the ready to bring him down. Well, now this defense is in the driver's seat, Kate. Right? When you make a stop like that on first down, now it's your discretion of just how aggressive you want to be following that play up. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. They give it to him again. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A gain of about three, so a third of what they needed. Third and six coming up. Baker now. Yeah, for a moment, but a great defensive play. Jar it loose, incomplete. I'll tell you this, Kate. That's that's when you gotta be on the same page with one another and get both ends of the play right to execute, both the protection and ultimately completing that ball. They certainly want that play call back. Tampa Bay in punt formation now. Keeps on catching passes here in the second half. It seems like we're going to remember his work there from this game more than what he's done from the backfield. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Here's Daniels. Has a man. It's Brown. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. Kate, one thing I learned from the late, great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called air raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and he played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. Now set up the wide receiver screen here. He's tackled with a first down yardage. So critical, Kate, on those receiver screens to get that ball out with great precision. You don't want that receiver thinking about anything but navigating the blocks in front of him. That's well done by everybody. They've got first down from the 31. Throwing now, Daniels. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Oh, he's gonna run. The ball's out. The ball's out. He lost it. But he bounces out of 
possession. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And the Commanders will have a first. You know what? This game is hard. So sometimes catching a break or two in just the right circumstances is a big deal. Sideline could be your best friend as a runner. If you lose the ball next to it, there's a good chance it can go harmlessly out of bounds. They get there to take him down right around the 41. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that'll be good for a Washington first. You spring a big game like that, Kate, on the interior. Nine times out of ten, that O-line decisively won their matchup with the big fellas up front. They got those pads down. They created leverage, and they opened up that running lane. First and ten from the 41. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. York now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Here, look at this. Couple of touchdowns, good amount of yards, too. He's been moving him down the field like only he can, putting together quite the game for himself in the process. They're out and set, first and ten. Motioning the tight end left. Play action on first down. This finds Evans, complete. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. 
You know, he never stared him down, but that was such a good job by the quarterback to keep his eyes downfield, keep working as that shallow cross was crossing route so devastating for zone coverage. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. That's an easy call for all officials. So keep that second and short play in your back pocket. So the penalty goes ahead and gives them the first. First and ten from the 41. One of the tight ends in motion left. Throwing Baker. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Completes this one. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 28. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good enough for a Tampa first down. I think the defense is still turned around looking for where the ball is. Is that QB and tight ends? They got that ball out in a hurry. Mayfield set to pass. Got Evans, it's complete. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. One of the tight ends motioning left. Contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. He finds the open man now, complete. That play good for 17 and a first down. in the NFL as a D-tackle if you eat up space. You really can. But you make that bag when you can defeat blocks, penetrate, and create runs for losses as a defensive tackle. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Mayfield will look to throw. Spits a couple of defenders and completes it. And this is down all the way to the three. 14 yards on a nice play there, and it gives them first and goal. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. Mayfield to throw. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. It's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Washington ready to go on offense as they take the field. Their last drive contained a heavy dose of the ground game. A little old school dominance on the way to a touchdown block. Let's see if they stick with it or if they go aerial this time around. Down aside in that frame as we run out of time in the third quarter. It's Commanders football, and they'll get to work coming into the quarter trailing. We set it down for him at the 38. Daniels now. He loves it up. Looking deep to the Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. Seeking out a runner, that is this guy's domain. And boy, does he know how to operate in it. Offense to the line for second down. Here's Baker.
set up now, first and ten. Two on the pickup there, and it's going to be second and eight. Throwing off the play fake here. McLaughlin, attack on the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Kickoff taken at the three. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The commander is set to take over. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here. Here's Daniels. Has a man. It's Brown. And he'll get it up to the 44. An excellent gain. 20 yards there, and that's going to move the sticks. We hear about basketball on grass so much. So much more of the space and speed coming to the NFL game. That play's so indicative of it. Get that point guard in the open field and let him do his thing. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. And he finds the seam down the middle, complete. He picks up 15 on the play. And the Commanders will have a first. Remember the O-line looks to be in some pain. They're headed out. 
to take a look at him now. routes versus zone coverage. Man, do I love crossing routes versus man-to-man. -man. So hard on those defenders to stick with those receivers all the way across the field. Even for the best athletes at that position, those throws are almost impossible to stop. Here's a give on first and goal. And he's going to take it in for the Washington touchdown. The Commanders lower the deficit to a single possession. The Commanders face a very important two-point attempt. And they get the two-point conversion. He's in the lead, only a field goal now. Well, that worked perfectly. They spread them out offensively initially, and then you hit the lane right at the middle to go get the two points. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun snap. They're going to throw. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. On first down, they'll run, and he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. All I could tell him there was good luck. <laughs> you get a safety all over a run like that, 
They can just smell it like a shark with blood in the water. And you feel fortunate if you're even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Throwing from the gun here. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. They've got first down from the 31. Now it's White. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. And the commanders get home, they drop him. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. You're just not going to win many games in this league when you can't generate a pass rush until the fourth quarter. You needed to feel the impact from this defense earlier and more often in this game. The lack thereof was a big part of what's put them playing from behind in the final stanza of this one. And Washington into the dime here. Defending pass. Third down coming. Back to throw it. He finds his running back. Nice work complete. And he's tackled for a short game. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. On fourth down, the Buccaneers trying to put three on the board with Chase McLaughlin. From the right hash, this is going to be a 51-yarder. And this kick is good. He needed to get out of it there. And he did. And that'll double their lead to six. I've tried to match in dozens and dozens of kicks into that net on the sideline, staying warm. Kate, he finally gets his chance to knock a field goal through the uprights. And of course, he wasn't going to whiff on that opportunity. McLaughlin has it on the team, and he's ready to send this fly. Return coming from the six. And this drive will start inside the 25. Now this offense ready to head back out. And that last drive, no answer for what they were doing through the air. So expect some tighter coverage this time around. Throwing now. 
First and ten from a yard shy at midfield. To throw. The defender arrives long as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the rack and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. Offense set for a first and ten. Now to throw. He's on the move. He'll try to run this. Washington calls it second time out. Still one more in their pocket to use. Options are open here. It's second and inches. He'll look to throw it. The throw is caught. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. And that's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Setting up to pass. They have this try now to put them in front late. That one right down the middle. And they'll take the lead. Good starting field position for the Buccaneers. First and ten. Here he is to throw. He keeps those feet in and makes the catch.
after a good pickup. They've got second and four. Back to throw. That's going to be incomplete. Still time for a couple of plays, though. 15 seconds left. Connection on the last play, and out third down. Looking to throw. He's going to get this complete to his running back. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. That's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Less than a yard needed here on four. Looking to throw. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he lost the football. And they get back on top of it, but he's touchdown. So no fireworks today. This one is over. So it's a win on the road for the Commanders. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end. But their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory.